What's going on guys? I bet you didn't expect to see my face today. Uh, I apologize. It's been a while, but uh, finally back and ready to go shoot some more videos. So let's roll the intro. I apologize. I dropped the ball. It's been far too long since I posted a video to you guys. It's probably been at least three, four months. And for that, I'm sincerely apologetic for that. Uh, I just didn't expect the busyness of my life to take over. And, you know, I'm at a stage in my life where there was more important things to take care of instead of YouTube. And as a result, I had to take a break, kind of put that onto the back burner for a little while to take care of some stuff in my personal life. And now that that's been taken care of, I have the time now to refocus on the YouTube channel. But I still owe you guys an explanation of what's been going on, why I've been AWOL, and I guess that's kind of where I'm at here today. But a lot of things have happened, and I needed to focus on those things. And one of the main things is I got married this year. I got married to my girlfriend, Lisa, uh, we went to Punta Cana, did a destination wedding for 10 days. What an incredible time. I'll throw some photos over here, um, show you some of, the, some of the adventures that we had. It was an awesome time, crazy time. But as most of you guys know, whenever you're able to take 10 days off from work, those 10 days don't really just disappear. They just ball up 10 days worth of backlog that you gotta come back and, and make up. So part of coming back from the vacation, which was incredible, I had a lot of work to make up and catch up on and it just kind of put me in this mode of catching up and a lot of my time was focused on re-catching back up. That was one of the things that happened. Second thing that happened was <laughs> I moved back to Akron. I moved back to Akron, I bought a house here in Akron which I am in currently right now. So some, some things along that lines was, you know, there was a lot of extra effort and uh, of saving the funds up uh, for getting everything together to be able to purchase the house, especially because we just got married in Punta Cana, which had a lot of expenses that way. So I kind of had two big expense things happen back to back. Uh, the purchase of the house happened really, really fast. Actually, it happened to be the third house we looked at uh, that we decided to put an offer on and they accepted right away. So it, it all kind of happened really fast. I was expecting to have been purchasing a house right about this point in time, in the, middle of December but being that I was in Toledo on the two and a half hour drive back and forth we started early expecting to give ourselves time in case we didn't find a house right away to be able to travel back and forth to arrange me and my wife's schedules together to be able to come together on top of getting everything else together in terms of paperwork and all the information that was needed so we wanted to give ourselves plenty of time because the original plan was to move back at the beginning of this year, or the beginning of 2019. It all ended up happening so fast, we ended up moving in September, uh, which was incredible, back in Akron. Uh, but as most of you people who own a home or recently purchased a home, or maybe you don't know, when you purchase a home, you wanna make it your own. Uh, so we bought a house from, a, from a, a long generation family where the father owned it, then you know it was father, then father and mother, and then the mother passed away, and then it was father again, and then it was father and daughter, and then the father passed away, and then it was daughter, daughter. So it was, it was a long generation type home um, that the father built. It was renovated back in early 2000s to add an addition on and everything like that. Um, they remodeled the kitchen, added a second living room. Uh, but when, it, when you purchase a house that's been in a family for so long, you wanna kinda convert some things and change it to the way you want it. So we did a lot of painting, a lot of remodeling, ish not really too much remodeling but we did a lot of just redecorating i guess is a better term than remodeling and that just takes a lot of time and effort bought a house got married moved back to akron got really into racing in the racing season so as you guys saw in my last couple videos is i really got into the omrl scene um it's it's been it's been awesome it's been crazy and i've been really focused on that so as a result, I've definitely stopped riding the street uh, a lot less. Um, and as a moto vlogger, if you're not riding the street, a lot of that becomes a situation where you're just not out there to moto vlog. So that kind of is what hurt my content. And my workflow, the way I did everything was every time I went out on a ride, 
and I was recording. When I got back to my house, I'd rip off the SD card, I'd offload it onto an external hard drive. It was a four terabyte hard drive that I had, uh, that I've had for a long time. Never had any issues, I'd rip all the footage off onto that, so that way, if I ever changed computers or my hard drive or anything, you know, I always had that footage externally. Well, what ended up happening was we ended up having a major malfunction of my hard drive. All my footage was gone. I had no way of, of creating more videos. The weather was starting to change, and as a result, I was stuck with nothing. I just didn't have anything. So that was another reason why I didn't have the footage. Things started to slow down here. I got, you know, we started getting all the painting done and everything remodeled the way we wanted it. The weather was starting to change. Uh, I was starting to get settled in at the Akron office of my job. Um, so everything was starting to come together, but I just didn't have the footage and I had no way of getting out and, and, and riding. We had snow on the ground. We had, they put salt out. And as most of you guys know, once they lay salt out in the Ohio roads, I put the big bike away. Uh, in part of selling or buying this house, I needed to offload some toys that I didn't need. So I got rid of the Mavic. I got rid of the Z125 uh, to kind of pick up some extra funds to help with the remodeling and the repainting and all the expenses that came along with getting married and buying a house. Uh, and as a result, I, uh, I, didn't want to I didn't have a small bike to ride anymore at the, on the street and I definitely wasn't taking the big bike out after they poured the salt on. And to be quite fair, the bike has been in uh, track mode for a while now and I just haven't had the urge to, to take it out of track, uh, out of track prep and re-put uh, ethylene glycol in it and all the other stuff, put my license plate back on and put the fuses back in for my brake and headlights. I just haven't had the need or urge to want to do that. Um, so hopefully being back in Akron, getting a 35 mile per hour squad back together. We've, we've had quite a few events together, uh, just you know, housewarming parties at the new house and everything. And we'll get some events together. Bought a new camera and that was another down that I had is I offloaded my old camera for a while. Uh, when I bought the new camera, which is now a 6D Mark II and the wide angle lens that I had, because uh, I got rid of my 24 to 105 lens as well, because I went to a 70 to 200, and the 70 to 200 I just couldn't vlog with, because obviously it's on a crap sensor at 70 millimeters, you're looking at about 110 millimeters, and that's just too far away uh, to vlog on. It'd be like I'd be screaming across the house trying to talk to you guys. A lot of those things just kind of all snowballed together just to make it difficult. Uh, not having the uh, external hard drive, not having a camera with the proper lens, getting rid of the small bike, getting married, buying a house. I mean, as you guys can tell, a lot of that just kind of culminated into a, into a big firestorm of just not being able to produce content. But now I've got the new camera, got the wide angle lens, so I am able to vlog again. Uh, a lot of things I've been uh, been contemplating. I was able to get all the footage off my external hard drive finally. I got it, uh, was able to get it back from a recovery place and they were able to recover most of the footage. So I gotta review some of the footage to see if there's any race footage I could post for you guys or any other content. As a result, uh, you know, that we got the new house. It's got two and a half acres, which is plenty of land. My wife has always wanted to get a second dog, but in the two bedroom apartment that we were living in in Toledo, it was just not, it was a thing that we weren't gonna have a second dog because it's just not fair to the dogs They're not to be cooped up in a two bedroom apartment and have nowhere to go and run and get their energy out. Uh, so now that we've purchased the second house, we've purchased, uh, we were able to get a second dog. So now we have a yellow lab named Ohana, who is two and a half now. And we have a puppy, a chocolate lab named Kona. Uh, he is just under about five months old at this point. Um, and they just get, they're just having the, time of their lives now. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but a lot of things have, have like I said, changed in my life uh, that just kind of took away from posting some videos for a while. Uh, but next year, so what to expect? Hopefully I'm looking to pick up a Hero 7. The Hyper Smooth looks so dope. The 240 frames per second for that super duper slow-mo looks so dope. Uh, obviously I picked up the new 60 Mark II, a wide angle lens, a 70 to 200. I got a lot of content that I want to be able to produce both from Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, been really going hard on Instagram. My goal this year is to post a photo every single day for the entire year of 2019. Through about a month ago, um, I, I have through March, let me see here, March 20th of 2019, I've got photos scheduled all the way, every single day, all the way through that date already. 
because uh, I was able to get all the photos from the OMRL stuff off of my external hard drive finally, uh, which was like 4,000 photos. I was able to go through and edit a whole bunch of those and get them scheduled uh, to post onto Instagram on my at Throttle Lock TV. I also have two other Instagrams that I've been really going hard on. Uh, my dogs, I've got one, Ohana and Kona, which you'll see a link here. And I've got my own personal photography uh, Instagram as well. The Throttle Lock TV is all motorcycle and OMRL and that kind of stuff related. Ohana and Kona obviously is my dogs related, all about my dogs. And then my final one is my name, Derek Clouser. Um, again, link here. Uh, go follow me on that if you want. I post everything photography related. related. Um, that's just anything else other than motorcycles or dogs. And there may be an occasional motorcycle or dog picture on that as well. Uh, but that's just for every other thing that I take photos of, whether it's landscape photography, street photography, nighttime photography, whatever. It's just any type of photography. Uh, on my Ohana and Kona, I've got photos already scheduled throughout the remainder of the year. And again, my goal is to have pictures every single day on all three of my Instagram accounts. Every day at 9 a.m. I post a picture for Throttle Lock TV. At 11 a.m. I post a picture for Ohana and Kona. And 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I post a picture onto Derek Clouser. Now the Derek Clouser one is just miscellaneous stuff, so I don't know if I'm gonna continue to be able to post a picture every single day. That's still kind of up in the air, but as far as my dog and Throttle Lock TV, that's my goal of next year, is just to post a picture every single day, 365 pictures. So yeah, that's my goal. So follow me on there. I do a lot, a lot of stuff on there. I do a lot more stories and everything on that over there, my personal life, um, and that's that. I'm also becoming an MSF instructor. For those that don't understand, the Motorcycle Safety Foundation is a organization. Uh, I believe that they do it in all states, but here in Ohio, definitely it's a state-funded thing where people can go to learn to ride motorcycles to get their endorsement. Um, it's a three-day class that they take um, and it gets them, hopefully if they pass the test at the end, it gets them an endorsement certificate so they can go get their endorsement from the bureau, title bureau, or license bureau, excuse me. And they get like discounts for taking a safety course for motorcycling. And ultimately it just helps them learn to ride motorcycles the correct way. Another thing is I partnered with a company called Viking Cycles. Uh, my buddy Rookser, if you haven't followed his channel, he posts moto vlogs and vlogs weekly. Um, link will be in the description for him. He was partnered with them and was doing some um, gear reviews for them. And he hit me up and said, hey, this company's looking for more people. Are you able to, uh, to review their product? And I said, yeah, I just need to make sure that they understand that I'm gonna do an honest review of their product. And you know, they can't expect just like all rave reviews. That's just not the way I am. I do an honest review for you guys so you guys know if the product's good. And looking at some of the products I saw online, I'm gonna be honest with you, they looked kind of cheap and I was kind of nervous. But Ruxer came over to my house for Thanksgiving. He spent a couple days here for Thanksgiving. He brought some of the gear that he had gotten from them. And I'm impressed, honestly, for the price. I mean, obviously it's not your top of the line safety gear. It's not the top of the line anything. But when you're paying fractions of the dollar what you'd be paying for a high-end gear, the stuff is actually quite impressive. Um, the one item that I've gotten so far is a Viking Cycle backpack. Um, that's the item that I started with. I'm impressed. I've actually converted my work bag to that bag because it is super comfortable and everything. But I'll get into a review on that. Uh, so expect some reviews on Viking Cycle gear. Uh, and I'm going to make honest reviews. If there's something bad about the product, I'll be sure to make sure I let you know. If there's something good about the product, obviously you'll know about that as well. But anyway guys, that's all I have for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been and say thank you and apologize for not being here for most of the end of the, this year. Obviously being a motorcycle channel and it's winter, I don't know what else I can do for the rest of the winter except for try to find some footage and do some vlogs of other things. Uh, might post some photography stuff as well for those that are interested in that. But anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging in there. I do appreciate it, I really do. Especially if you're at this point of the video, uh, you guys are the true, true fans. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting. If you're right, stay safe out there. Keep the rubber side down. And until the next video, whenever that is, we'll talk to you guys later.